Leather is back. What's up, guys? Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team, and the day has finally come. Leather Football Boots are back in fashion, thanks to a couple of massive recent releases. But the question that you guys all want to know is, what are the very best top 10 leather boots on the market for right now? Well, that's what we're going to be finding out in today's video, so let's get straight into it. So before we get into our 10th spot leather football boot, there's probably three way dimensions that didn't actually make the list. The first one is the Nike Techcraft boots. They're not a standard release, so they didn't make our list. There's also the Adidas Gloro. Really good value for money football boots at £80. So if you want a more reasonable football boot, which is leather, the Gloro is a great option. And the boot that didn't make it as well is the Puma one, just because we don't think it's worthy of our top 10 spots. But the number 10 leather boot on the market is the Adidas Copper 17.1. It's not my own favourite boot, that's why it's in number 10 spot. Blake, you do like it. What are your favourite things about the boot? So the boot has a K leather upper. It's one of the highest grade K leather uppers you can get on a leather football boot. Overall, I think it's quite good value for money. Yes, it has increased from one fifty pounds to one seventy pounds in terms of value for money. It's just gone a bit worse, but overall, you've got that sprint frame on the sole plate with K leather. You're not a fan of that tongue, are you? No, the tongue for me is a bit of a problem, and also the price, like £170, even sometimes £175. I think for that boot, the Copper 17.1, it's just a little bit too pricey, but still that leather isn't too bad. But let's get on to number nine. On to the very best leather football boots on the entire market. We are into Mizuno with the Morelia football boots. These are stunning. If you want an all-over K leather football boot, you can't really go wrong with the Morelias by Mizuno. And also, they're nice and wide-fitting. Now, there's three types of Mizuno Morelia. We've got the ones for £100. We've also got the Made in Japan version, 220 and now in the game, Mizuno do release some extra special editions which do retail for £250, so a real spectrum of prices. Overall, the quality is still going to be amazing on every pair you buy. Which one would you personally pick yourself? Now, I probably wouldn't go for the £250 one, even though the quality is that that good. I probably wouldn't go for that one. I'd wait until the £221 went on sale, potentially went on sale for something like £150 or £170. I wouldn't get the £100 version. I'd go for the middle range one. Number eight, and we are into the absolute godfather of football boots. It's been around for such a long time for a very good reason. It is just an amazing, comfortable, high quality pair of football boots. And it's the Adidas Copper Mundial, especially good for this time of the year. Pre-season, you want something very comfortable. It's not going to cause any discomfort whatsoever. And that is what the Copper Mundial is all about. And this guy adores them. So it's all about value for money with the Copper Mundial. For £115, you can get a really high-grade K leather football boot. It's pretty much the most comfortable boot on the market. It's got such a great reputation with those mouldy studs on the sole plate. Overall, very good sole plate for this football boot. And it's going to be such a comfortable fit and feel. Lucky number seven, and it's one of my own personal favourite football boots I have ever worn. We have got the Pantafola Dioro Lazzarini. In terms of quality, craftsmanship, materials, these are exceptional. Every single pair are handmade in Italy in the little workshop by the highly skilled craftsmen. One thing I love so much is that the upper is actually stitched through the sole plate, so durability is incredible. If I were to explain these or describe them in one way, I'd say they're almost like a very lightweight leather vapor. What about you? Now, it's a very narrow-fitting leather football boot, so most leather football boots are going to accommodate wide feet perfectly. So this is a boot I probably won't go with, but in terms of quality and overall craftsmanship, you can't go wrong with the Lazzarini. Number six, and we've got one of the most worn pairs of football boots in the Premier League, especially for defenders, a lot of them out there, wear the Adidas A17.1 leather, just because of how comfortable they are, they're really durable, and overall just very underrated. Now these retail for about £170, and one thing that we didn't mention about the Pantafolas is they only cost £100 for the standard model, or if you want something a little bit more special, they do a reptile-like print for £140, but the A17.1, £170, is it worth it? Now this is a very very different boot to the previous boots we've mentioned in this list. It's pretty much a combination of K leather and synthetic. Now K leather and synthetic is what we see on a lot of modern day leather football boots. You're not going to see a completely leather football boot and this is the perfect example of that. We see a mostly synthetic boot with that back bit of the boot featuring that tech fit collar but K leather on the forefoot. It's going to be very lightweight and it's also very popular on the professional stage. We're at a halfway stage and in at number five is the absolute dreamy Mizuno Morelia Neo 2. This is the made in Japan version to £250, but you can get the standard version as well, which is still unbelievable quality for about £140, but these are quality. If you want to epitomize lightweight leather, 
this really is the real deal on the market. If you want a lightweight boot, which is leather, going to last you a long time and also look incredible, trust me, these are the boots to go for. Now, this can be considered a speed boot. It's probably the lightest boot in this list. It's probably less than 200 grams. I'm not overly sure on the weight of these boots, but they're definitely lightweight. You've got K-Leather pretty much on the entire upper with a really, really nice sole fit. We're seeing it on the first generation of the Neo, but overall, very high quality, lightweight for all boots. So we've seen some incredible football boots so far, which have been made to such high expectations, but arguably one pair of boots that have been made with so much romance compared to any other football boot is the Diodora Brazil Italy OGs. Every single pair, just like the Panzer photos, are handmade in Italy. And one really nice thing about the Diodora Brazil Italy is that every single part of the boot, the upper, is made out of genuine K leather, including the Diodora logo itself. Sometimes, even on the Mizuno boots, they put their logos in a synthetic plastic, but this time, K leather across the entire boot from heel to toe and a really nice soft comfortable sole plate to go alongside as well. What are your thoughts? Now there's two types of leather football boots on the modern day football market. You've got the classic leather, so the classic like the Morelia, you've got the Copa Mundial, you've also got the Diodor Brazil. Pretty much all about comfort and really, really well crafted football boots. And then you've got those lightweight performance leather football boots like the Neo and the Ace Leather we mentioned before. So overall, I think this is probably one of the best well-crafted football boots on the market. So we get into our bronze, silver and gold positions and in at third place and taking the bronze medal is the Nike Premier 2.0 which has just been released as a pretty new boot out there and one of the biggest selling points about this boot is the price tag, only £95, incredible value for money pre-season football boot, training football boot, these should be on your list for sure. Now, why are they only £95 though? So with the Nike Premier, you're getting such a low price for really, really good quality, but the quality is probably not there compared to something like the Diodor Brazil or the Morelia or the Copa Mundial. The k the Vamp is probably not up there in terms of the plush leather you get from those really well-crafted stitched football boots. But overall, again, it's gonna be really, really cheap, great for your trainings, as Matt said, for pre-season. And you can also get the Premier first generation and really really cheap prices as well second place and taking our silver medal is a pair of full boots which have just been released and they are making serious headlines it of course is the Mizuno Rebula. Now we've got the MIJ version, we've also got the V1. If you want the creme de la creme, the MIJs are gonna cost you 260 pounds, so be aware if you do want these, which are seriously high quality, they're gonna charge you quite a bit of 260. But the V1s which are made in Indonesia are only 170, still quite expensive, but really good value for money. The leather on these guys, trust me, they are sublime, nothing like I've ever really played in before. It really is very modern, but classic. What are your own personal takes on these? Now, I think the Mizuno Rebula made in Japan is a combination of two boots. Now, the original Morelia we mentioned earlier in the video, a really, really classic k the upper. And in terms of that, the other boot we'll mention is the Tempo Legend because it doesn't have any stitching lines on the upper. It has the internal skeleton system with that foam pads. It's a really, really high grade k the upper but with an internal skeleton, so really ticking the boxes in terms of comfort and performance. Guys, it's gold medal time, and I can probably guess that a lot of you have already guessed which has come number one spot. It has to be the Nike Tempo Legend 7, which have been a smash since being revealed. 190 pounds, I think this is actually quite a good value for money, especially when you compare it to the MIJ Rebelers at 260. They are very similar, trust me. In terms of two football boots made out of leather, you probably can't get much similar compared to the Legend 7 and the Rebel by Mizuno. There's so much great things about these football boots, which Blake is gonna tell us all about right now to help you guys understand why you should buy them. So there's three main factors of why this is the best leather football boot you can get on the market. Compared to the Rebula, it's cheaper. It's only 190 pounds. If you want the Mizuno Rebula V1, that's 170 pounds. So I definitely think you should go for that. As well as that, it's very, very lightweight. It's something like 20% lighter than the Temple Legend 6, and it's much lighter than the Rebula Edition. And as well as that, you're probably gonna get a bit more lockdown in the back of the boot with these new flywire cables and that flyknit system on the Temple Legend 7 from the Legend 6, it's much better lockdown and more responsive. So that is our number one in the list. But what about you guys? It comes down to your own personal choice now. You've seen 10 of the best leather boots on the market, different styles, different prices, but which one would you guys personally go for? So that is the poll card question for today. Vote for your personal favorite leather boot on the market. It's all up to you, but guys, that is today's video all wrapped up. Leather is back in fashion, which is such a great thing, but guys, Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time.